Hello and welcome to another Baron Bunny Impact video or whatever this game is called. Um, anyway, your eyes do not deceive you. I am playing Amber right now and I plan to build her in this video. Um, yeah, even though she's supposedly a bad character, but let's be real here, there are no bad characters in this game. Everyone can be viable if you just invest enough into them. Um, yeah. Ember actually has some really nice builds that you can play, like um, a physical build, or charge shot build, or you know, a Baron Bunny nuke build. Um, but most of them need uh, higher constellations, which I sadly don't have. My Ember is only C2. Um, so the build that I'm going for is actually a support build that uses Elegy for the end. A few days ago, I wrote on a weapon banner, got Elegy. And yeah, Amber is actually a very good allergy user. A lot of people don't know that. Um, but her burst uh, hits the opponents a lot of times, which is uh, enough to activate the allergy buff. Uh, so yeah, she can basically just press Q, get the buff, and her, old t her whole team gets stronger through it. Um, which actually, actually makes her kind of viable as a support. And for those of you who are now asking, why don't you just use Bennett instead, you know? Um, there's a very simple answer to that. He's way too fucking overused. He's like in every single Genshin Impact video ever. Um, everyone uses him all the time in every team. Like, every time you ask uh, about team comms, Bennett is in it. Every time you ask uh, which character you should use a certain character with, the answer is Bennett. Um, everyone just seems to think that you can't beat anything without Bennett. And I fucking hate that. He's way too overused, so I'm not using him. Instead, the pyro support that I'm gonna use is Amber. Um, so yeah, I've waited a long time to finally, finally build her and make her viable. And today is the day. So yeah, with that being said, let's take a quick look at her. As you can see, she's only level 60 so far. Um, I'm gonna raise her to level 80 now. And um, her talents... To level 8. She already got some artifacts, I'm gonna go over them after I raised her to level 80. And the weapon, as I already said, is Elegy for the end, level 90. So yeah, um, now without further ado, let's level her up. Okay, and here she is, fully leveled up. Well, not quite, she could still go to level 90, but yeah, level 80 is enough for now, I guess. Um, and as you can see, talents are 7, 8, 8. Wanted to do 8, 8, 8, um, but yeah, I ran out of Mora. Um, but I'm gonna do um, the last one eventually. Gonna get her normal attacks to 8. Uh, the normal attacks are not that important on a support build anyway. Um, the most important thing here is the burst, and yeah, let's take a look at her attributes. As you can see, um, 1800 attack, almost 1900, crit rate 52, 118, but her burst is actually gonna have um, 62% um, because of her second ascension talent um, that basically increases the crit rate of her burst by 10%. Um, 170% energy recharge, which is very good, especially considering that her burst only costs 40 energy, if I remember correctly. So yeah, she's gonna have basically 100% burst uptime, I think. Um, and yeah, then the usual pyro damage bonus and stuff, yeah. Um, now, the artifacts. Let's take a look at those. We have this flower. Feather. That rolled completely into attack percentage. Sadly, no crit stats here. Um, yeah, but it's fine. Doesn't really matter that much. Then we have this sense here. A cup with 30% crit damage. Pretty fucking good. I've used that cup on my Yoimir for a long time until I got that one, which is even better. Um, but yeah, good cup for Ember for now. And then last but not least, we have this crit rate circlet. As you can see, the artifacts are not all level 20 yet, um, 
but obviously I'm gonna level them all up eventually. For now I think it's fine having three of them at level 20 and two at level 16. Um, so yeah. Okay, and now that she is leveled up, um, we need to test her support capabilities, of course. Um, and to do that, I'm gonna use this Lonely Ruin Guard, who is kind of my favorite volunteer in these kinds of videos. I don't know, I just love killing Ruin Guards, and this one is just perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use her with Yoimir, as you can see. Um, I know that uh, Amber is probably better to use with Hu Tao and Ching Chou in a vaporized comp uh, with the extra elemental mastery she gives with energy. Um, but yeah, I kind of don't like Hu Tao's playstyle. We have to keep her at low health and uh, I kind of like to use healers, so yeah, that just doesn't go well together. Um, but yeah, my Hu Tao is level 90 anyway because I just love her character. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, gonna try Amber and Yoimiya together. As you can see, my um, uh, my Yoimiya has 2400 attack and uh, 47 elemental mastery. Um, which should be a lot higher after Amber uses her burst. Uh, plus 100 elemental mastery, which is a considerable upgrade. And plus, uh, I don't know how much attack she's actually gonna get. That's, I mean, you're gonna see that. But um, before we try Amber, I just uh, wanna use Yoimir by herself, so we can compare the damage. So let's just do one normal attack chain with Yoimir, and see how much that does. Okay, that was about half of the HP of the Rune Guard. Don't think there were many crits in there, so... Yeah. But okay, let's try her with Ember now. Okay, here we go. Come on, Ruin Guard. Attack me. Oh, he hit me. Damn it. Okay, now let's use the burst. And as you can see, we got the allergy boost just from using the burst. Let's see how much attack my Yoni has now. 2700. Okay, that's an increase of 300. Yeah, Bennett pr could probably do more, but again, I won't use Bennett. I refuse to use Bennett. Um, but yeah, the elem Elemental Mastery. 147, now that is really nice. That's gonna make a lot of difference, especially in Vaporized comms. But for now, let's just uh, test the damage without any reactions. Oh, he... Oh, shit. Well, that was a fail. Okay, attempt number two. I had to go and recharge my Ember's Burst, but yeah, let's try it again now. Use burst. Get the energy buff. Enjoy Mia. Plus the rest. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot more damage. It's like two thirds of its his HP. Actually, even more than two thirds, compared to a, a little bit less than half of the HP bar before. So yeah, you can clearly see a difference. And the difference would be even greater if I would use reactions instead of just pure pyro damage, because, you know, 100 elemental mastery. But this guy would die way too fast with reactions. And that is why we need an opponent with more HP. And our volunteer this time is this nice samurai here known as Masanori. Um, so yeah, I'm first just gonna use uh, Beidou and Yoimir together and uh, see... Um, how much damage they do in one burst rotation and uh, yeah then I'm do it again and gonna add uh, Amber to the mix. So with that being said, let's go. Yep. This, then this. Can we deplete his HP bar, his first HP bar before the burst goes away? Can. Okay, that was, I think, about 15 seconds for the first HP bar. Let's see if Amber can make this a little bit faster. Masanori, I'm back for more. Let's do this. Yep. Let's go. Okay, Beidou Burst. Amber Burst. And then we switch to Yoimiya and massacre him. 
Yeah, that was a little bit faster. And burst still going. Yeah, okay, we this time we did a little bit of damage to second HP bar too. So it's definitely higher damage. Nice. Okay. Okay, so now we've tested her support capabilities in an overload comp. It would probably be better in Vaporize or Mild comps, um, but yeah, I just love using Beidou and Yoimir together, so I just wanted to try that out. Um, but I am gonna use her in Vaporize and Melt teams, probably in the future, who knows. Um, but yeah, I just I just wanted to build her, test her with LG, and I gotta say, I like this build. It's fun. Um, you just use her burst, you know, uh, let fire rain on the enemies, and then uh, all the other team members get stronger. Um, yeah, don't see anything bad about it. Even though everyone always tells me that Amber is not worth it, and not viable, and so on and so on, but, well, I frankly don't care. But there's one other thing that I want to test, that I want to try out, and we need an Abyss Mage for this. And yeah, there's one right there. Um, because I've heard that Amber's Burst actually kind of obliterates the shields of Abyss Mages, and yeah, I just want to see that. I want to see if that's true, so let's just use a Burst here. Okay, yeah, that is actually really fast. Holy shit. That shield just... Got deleted. Okay. <laughs> if that works against the Abyss Lectus and the Abyss Heralds too, then <laughs> she actually might be very good uh, in Abyss on the floors that have Abyss Lectus and Heralds. So, yeah, another reason to use Amber. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah. I think that's a good point to end the video. Um, if you did enjoy it, if you like Amber, like I do, then um, yeah, please uh, hit the like button, maybe leave a comment, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it, and have a nice day.